without a doubt. That's a good, good start. Well, what would you think of the six and a third he gave you? I thought he pitched great. I really did. You know, the two solar homers, one was kind of a rolling curveball to um, uh, Escobar, and then I think it was a fastball up. But outside of that, you know, he just had it all going for him, you know. And, uh, you know, he works that slider to both sides of the plate, spots his fastball really well, and um, just gave us exactly what we needed. You know, we were thin in the back end of our pen today, and, uh, you know, we needed some depth from from our starter, and uh, he provided it for us. Offensively, felt like you were snake bitten. A lot of line drives early on. Up A lot of line drives. We had opportunities. Uh, with, you know, smoked a one hopper with the bases loaded for a double play. Moves first and third, uh, you know, hit a ball that Maurer had to dive for and catch. And uh, he, But, um, you know, our guys do a good job of staying after it and uh, finally broke through there in the eighth. Two on, nobody out for Haas. You have to think or assume, just know he's well, coming through with the way he's been hitting. You feel really good about that situation. And, uh, um you know, that was th this was a big game for us. It was a game we had to win, and, um, you know, Haas, uh, Haas uh, got that big run for us when we needed it most. It seemed like Junis, there are two big jams, the third and the fourth, and that even where he just kind of really grinded those out and got the big uh, fly out by Castro. Well, it was really kind of that jam there. He, 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 You know, the things that go unnoticed in that game was he did a phenomenal job of pitching around, I think it was Escobar at that time, uh, uh, you know, he was not going to give in to him, especially after he had hit a home run off him. Uh, he knew that he had a base open. Granted, the base was third, but he was not going to give in in that situation and uh, uh, then attacked Castro right there. So, I mean, that that's veteran big league pitcher type stuff right there. And, and Billy Duke gives you a big lift too, but that, especially in that inning too, getting, yeah. getting that second out. Yeah, that was a, that was huge right there. Um, you know, it looked funny to me. You know, I told Walt get on it right away, and then Billy, you know, Billy being Billy was on it too, so that was a big out. Did you, you say everybody's banged up this time of year? Is Kane um, legs just a little bit sore? Is that why you, you pinch him? He's right tight. Up? He's got a tight quad. I mean, that's why we DH'd him yesterday because you weren't here. You probably didn't get that information, but um, he's got a tight quad in 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 a game that you must win like tonight. Uh, it, it's more it's more precautionary than it was anything else, um, knowing that he probably couldn't steal a base right there, one, and two, uh, knowing that if Milky or Haas hit a double and he'd have to bust it, uh, I didn't want to take a chance of him, you know, straining it with, uh, you know, while it's being tight already. He's been playing through it for a week. Um, we finally were able to give him a half a day yesterday, but you know, he's got that ability to, uh, you know, take it to that point and then back off a little bit without. But you get in a situation in a must-win game in the eighth inning and you're the winning run and somebody hits a ball down the line, I just didn't want to take a chance of him, uh, you know, doing any more uh, damage to, to to that leg. You know, he's extremely playable right now. And if, if I wasn't out here talking about it, nobody would probably know about it. But... Um, and I just wasn't going to take a chance of, you know, him damaging that leg any further. With Haas, we've seen it a few times. Is it a sign of a, maybe an elite hitter when they match up left-left and, and he's still able to have, you know, a bad success in those situations? Yeah, Haas is really good against right-handers or left-handed. I mean, you look at his numbers, what he's doing this year. He's at the top of the league and batting average. He's over 320 now with 24 homers and, you know, the mid-80s RBIs. You know, that's a premier performer in this league.